Sunday morning, Metropolitan. God bless you and everyone in Zoom and everyone listening in. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Father God, that's in heaven. We come to you this day to ask. We come to you today to ask. We come to you today to ask for you to watch over us and the loved ones at home, the ones listening in, the ones that can't come out because of COVID-19. We pray to you to help us through this tough time and to help us through these hardships and good times and bad times. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. My topic for today is, who's qualified to train us? In Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, and I quote, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is older, he will not depart from it. Yeah. Solomon wrote this. So my question is, who will train us? Everyone can't train young people the way they want them to be. I know as a young man myself, there will be some things I have to and will learn on my own. I'm going to make mistakes, but that's when I know God will guide me, lead me, and protect me through my hardships. If you agree with me, can I get an amen? Amen. Experience is a must in the word of God. A prescription for rearing, for rearing a child or teenagers like myself reveals two ingredients in the scripture. First, the command, which says, train up a child the way he should go. And second, the promise, when he is older, he will not depart from it. God's home will always be my home. The command involves three parts. I want you to look at that and say, who's qualified to train us? When Solomon is speaking of rearing up a child, it must be in the word of God. The main verse in the Bible, out of the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 4, says, with verse 4, it is concluding with the command for children. First and foremost, we must obey. I don't think y'all heard me. Let me read that again. All right, all right, all right, all right, obey. With verse 4, it is concluding with the command for children. First and foremost, we must obey. Children are to, are to obey their parents in the, in the Lord. That is the first command which promised. And it may be well with you, and you will live long on this earth. And you, fathers and mothers, they are to train us the way we should go in the Lord. I'm glad I have my mother that is saved, and a nana and a papa that is saved, because they teach me the way I should go in God. And I know from experience, when mom is at peace, I and I and I have done what she asked me to do. I'm at peace. I'm going the right way. I'm walking up the right way. I'm looking up the right way. I'm on the road to greatness. I'm surrounded by a God love, and I feel that love. Every day, God grants me another day here on earth. I'm not saying this is always easy. Sometimes I want to play more of my video games rather than do my homework. I know some of you understand. <laughs> but I know I have to get my homework completed in order to play the game. Or sometimes even take care of the dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to obey my mother just like my mother. I have to follow God in the way that she teaches me. Because I am a product of, of my environment, which is on the inside of the house. My home and not the outside. And that goes for anyone. I am to listen to my mother, my nan, and my papa. In my home and in their home. No one else besides school teachers, staff. My church family, of course, my pastor, Pastor Dennis, and my elders I listen to. If something is to come to me in contrast to what I'm saying, from what I'm being taught, I am to note that person. I am to note that person and allow my mother to say yay or nay. To right. so all young teenagers, since I can't identify with teenagers and young people, can. I'm 15 years old. I'm saved. I'm being saved. I shall be saved. I'm not perfect, and I'm not sure you're not you're you're not per perfect. But we are on a good road, and we are walking up the kings and queens. I didn't forget about the young ladies. All right, son. <laughs> we are walking up the kings and queens highway together. You hear a lot of people say Black Lives Matter, or some may say All Lives Matter, but I want 
to let you know that the young people lives matter too. We are the future. Somebody say amen. 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 Uh, I hope and pray that God will be glorified in your life as he's been glorified in mine. Jesus Christ who hung, bled, and died at the cross on Calvary, who died and rose again for me, you, and everyone that trusted him. Metropolitan family and to my brethren and sisters and Zoom land are listening in this morning. These are my thoughts as to where I'm at in my life and I thank God for it every day. I am Austin Nicholas Burke and I approve this message in the name of our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Thank you. May God keep keep you and continue to bless you and every one of you. Let the church be amen. 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 One metropolitan. The doors of the church are now open. Step one. Out of Zoom land. Step one. Watch it on YouTube. Like to come stand before the kingdom. Then he said, I am the way. The truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except before me. By Christian experience. You come by letter. You come by candidate for baptism. Jesus asked you to come. This father so loved the world that he gave his own you got son. For your salvation. Oh uh-huh. 